Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the VWF Arena for the second time this week. Yes, that's right. Do not adjust your sets because this is a special weekend edition of VWF Nitro. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the VWF Arena. I am Isaac, a.k.a. Omega, as always, here to call the action. And you talk about some action. We're going to get some major action right here to start off the show. What a tremendous last couple of weeks it's been for the Vixens Wrestling Federation, ladies and gentlemen. We are still, we are still just, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, just still, just shell-shocked after the events of Rumble Roses and then last week of, well, earlier this week, I should say. It's going to take some getting used to through the broadcast. Earlier this week, ladies and gentlemen, we had a tremendous episode of Nitro where it was capped off by uh, Usagi Sakino and Ami Mizuno embracing in a uh, display of unity and friendship against Al-Qaeda. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how this Nitro is going to top it, but heck, we're going to try. And there you see Yuna. Yuna fired up, ready for action, ladies and gentlemen, in the first round of the Intergalactic Championship Tournament. And listen to these fans. You talk about somebody that has a lot of momentum. Yuna is coming into this edition of Nitro with a full head of steam. You talk about somebody with a lot of momentum. Yuna is definitely riding a huge roller coaster of momentum. And sometimes that roller coaster can have uh, dips, and sometimes that roller coaster can have low points. Uh, case in point, the woman making her way down the aisle right now, Renoa Hartilly. Renoa still trying to find that first signature win here in the Vixen Wrestling Federation. And trust me, ladies and gentlemen, I've spoken to her. She would love nothing more than to break out by winning the Intergalactic Championship Tournament. You talk about getting back on track. Winning the Intergalactic title would definitely uh, kickstart Renault's uh, tenure here in the Vixen Wrestling Federation, if you will. Get it back in gear. Two wrestlers going in two different directions on the opening contest of this special weekend edition of Nitro. We are so glad, ladies and gentlemen, that you tuned in. And like I said at the uh, onset, do not adjust your sets. We are live from the VWF Arena for the second time this week, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for joining us. And ladies and gentlemen, we inch ever so closer to Judgment Day, which is the next click preview spectacular of the Vixens Wrestling Federation. Perhaps a few uh, pieces of the puzzle will begin to fall into place here tonight while we are still early on the road to Vixen Mania, ladies and gentlemen. And this one's starting off fast, and Yuna with a Luthes press on Renoa. It's a battle of two uh, Final Fantasy Vixens, ladies and gentlemen. Yuna, of course, drew number 20 in the uh, Rumble Roses Battle Royal and was there right at the end with Ami Mizuno, who drew number one, and Yuna fell agonizingly short. But, ladies and gentlemen, that hasn't derailed her at all. She scored a huge victory on Monday in singles competition, and she looks to continue that momentum here tonight. And these two women jockeying for position. Yuna better not take Renoa Hartilly lightly. Renoa may have kind of a disappointing record here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation, but she is still a top-notch athlete. You talk about someone who was dominant in New Gen Wrestling, one, only a one count there. You talk about somebody that was dominant in New Gen Wrestling, Renoa Hartilly is truly one of the originals. So Yuna had better not take her opponent lightly. You talk about two women who are just absolutely hungry, two women who want to make a statement. And to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, two, these two women, either one of them would be favorites to win the Intergalactic Championship, but only one of them can advance in this first round. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, as Frederick James Francis announced, the finals of the Intergalactic Championship Tournament will be held at Judgment Day. So, of course, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we certainly have that to look forward to. Of course, also, ladies and gentlemen, will we see Abdallah Bin Laden, the Vixens Wrestling Federation champion, finally lock up again with Usagi Sakino, the former champ? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure we'll find out. And a nice move there by Yuna. Yuna with a lateral press, hooking the leg. One, 
two. And only a two count. Oh, and listen to Yuna in there, just absolutely putting all of her might into those blows. And over the ropes goes Renoa. Renoa in trouble right now. Oh, and just and shades of Rumble Roses. Once again, Yuna gets caught putting her whole body into a clothesline and her opponent yanking down the rope. That's how she lost the Rumble Roses Battle Royal. That is what cost her a shot at Bixen Mania. Referee, all, as always, here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation with a 20 count to work with. Ladies and gentlemen, still to come tonight, our last first round contest in the Intergalactic Championship Tournament. These two women uh, locked up at Rumble Roses. It pits former EWE Siren Champion X23 against Danica Patrick. And of course at Rumble Roses, X23 was able to pick up the victory. Will history repeat itself? And a nice missile drop kick there from Yuna. Caught the mark right on the bullseye. One, two, that could be it. No. Referee quick to signal that it was a two count. Yuna with a go behind. Oh, my, and a nice flashback there. Yuna. Oh, misses with that high-risk maneuver. And now Renault has got a shot at getting right back into this match. Yuna in a little bit of trouble here. Renault going to work. Oh my, huge clubbing blow to the back. And another one, a clothesline that sends Yuna down. Boy, the last couple of weeks, ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen Renoa Hartilly wrestle with more emotion, more anger. And right now, Yuna in a lot of trouble here. Renoa looking to put the finishing touches on this one. And a nice Samoan, excuse, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, a nice Samoan drop. Got a little tongue tied there. The action is fast and furious. Two, and again a near fall. Renoa trying to press the advantage here. Up on the second rope. Measures Yuna, leaps and scores with the leg drop. Oh my, forget about it. One, two. Wow, no, Yuna got the shoulder up again. But Renoa, a sign of a veteran right there, continuing to go to work, trying to get this crowd behind her. Quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a lot of fans uh, seem to be uh, cheering for Yuna in this one, but Renoa has a very vocal uh, group of fans uh, scattered throughout the arena, and Renoa's trying to feed off of them right now, and she's going to need it. Oh, nice drop salt there from Renoa. But Yuna right back up again. Oh, Yuna tried to go for a lockup, go behind from, excuse me. Uh, uh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting tongue tied. What a match this has been. Top notch Vixens Wrestling Federation action as always. And now Renoa with a headlock. And what's she going for here? Oh, oh my. Falling Angel, and that could do it. Renault is going to pick up the victory here. One, two, no. Unbelievable. Oh, my, what's got to be rolling, going through Renault's mind? Well, obviously, oh, my, she continues to press the advantage, but you have to wonder if that doubt is starting to once again creep up in the back of Renault Hartilly's mind. Yuna just kicked out of one of her best moves. And now Yuna almost out on her feet. Renoa measures her again. Renoa going to take another chance. Oh, my, she waited too long. But still able to fight off Yuna. Renoa's got to go for something. She's a sitting duck up there. Finally, she leaps and scores with a clothesline. A moment of indecisiveness, but in the end, it turned out to pay off. And Renoa once again. Right back in control. And Renoa going up again. Another high risk maneuver. And she nailed it. Renoa go round. Depth defying move there, but Yuna right back up. Renoa doesn't even know what hit her. Shatters fear. And just like that, Yuna turned off the lights. One, two, 
it's over. And when Renoa Hartilly wakes up, she's gonna learn a painful lesson. That inside that squared circle, the action can turn in a microsecond. Renoa Hartelli controlled about 75% of this match. Maybe, ladies and gentlemen, about 95% of this match. But in the end, Renoa let her guard down for a second as she signaled for the Angel Wings. But Yuna kips up, nails the Shatter Sphere, and Renoa goes out like a light. And Yuna advances to the second round. We'll see her again on Monday, the day before Valentine's Day, ladies and gentlemen, on our next edition of Nitro. And, and Yuna once again continues to ride this huge wave of momentum. And ladies and gentlemen, the question is, can she ride that momentum all the way to the Intergalactic Championship? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll find out next week. You know your winner in the opening contest. Let's take you to the back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Tequila Sunrise looking to get back on track starting tonight. A big singles contest coming your way. And there you see Sakura Haruno. Truly a dominant force in NGW and looking to pick up a huge win here tonight. But she'd better be careful because she's going in there against arguably one of the best physical specimens of all of the uh, BWF Vixens, she's taking on the big Texan, Dixie Clements, the three count cowgirl. But Sakura never backs down from a challenge. She knows the odds may be stacked against her. She knows that maybe uh, Las Vegas, uh, all the uh, betting agencies may not be putting their money on her. But Sakura Haruno never wanted to doubt herself. And she's gonna have to dig deep here tonight because she is facing a Texas-sized challenge. Listen to these fans as they erupt for the three-count cowgirl. One half of the former VWF Tag Team Champions, one half of Tequila Sunrise, Dixie Clements making her way down the aisle. Listen to these fans. Give her the ovation she so richly deserves. Tequila Sunrise was upended by their longtime rivals, the Outer Senshi, Haruka, and Michinu at Rumble Roses. They were unsuccessful in their bid to regain the VWF Tag Team titles. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Tequila Sunrise's road to redemption begins. Tequila Sunrise, very dominant Tag Team Champions when they had the belts. And I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, they'll be right back on top of the Tag Team division once again. Wow, Dixie looks more fired up than I've ever seen her. Sakura had better watch out in there. And here we go. Oh, these two just feeling one another out. Did you see how Sakura, Sakura right there not budging. And now a test of strength again. This time Sakura manages a headlock. Oh, tries to go with the knee but deflected by Dixie. Nice go behind from Sakura. Sakura is going to have to stick and move in this one. Nice neck breaker there from Sakura. 
Oh, but once again, Dixie just showing you that, that power that she possesses. Dixie, arguably the strongest woman in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. As I've said many times before, ladies and gentlemen, her idol is the Lariat Stan Hansen, and you can see the inspiration in the way that she carries herself inside that squared circle. She has all the intensity of the Lariat. And look at this, Dixie just kind of daring Sakura Haruna to get back in after she tossed her out. And Sakura not backing down, coming right back in. And another test of strength here, another collar and elbow tie up. Into a headlock again from Sakura. Oh, but a nice reversal from Dixie. Reversal from Sakura. And into a nice spinning heel kick. Sakura Haruna is going to have to rely on her martial arts expertise and her speed if she's going to pick up the win over Dixie. And there you see, only a one count. You talk about one tough customer inside that ring. Dixie Clements can take a licking and keep on ticking. Listen to that huge chop. Sakura trying to fight her way out of the corner. Missed with the first kick, but scored with that Pele kick. Nice rebound there from Sakura Haruno. And Sakura has been in charge since the outset. Kind of a surprise. And she's going to try. Oh, my. She tried some kind of martial arts kick, and it did not connect. Dixie now back up. Knee to the midsection. A second one. Devastating. That'll knock the wind out of you. And a nice STO. Going for the cover. One. And maybe a little bit too early. And Dixie once again just easily heaving Sakura to the outside. And just as easily fires her back in. Oh, my. Listen. Listen to those huge right hands. The three-count cowgirl is really clicking right now. Another hook of the leg. One. And once again, only a one count. Sakura Haruno trying to do something to get back into this one. She's got a headlock. Call her number tie up. A couple of kicks. Trying to chop Dixie back down to size, and that'll do it. Huge Savat kick. And Sakura right now. Just once again, the uh, tides have turned in this one. Irish whip. Sakura, nice Hurricane Rana. And now Sakura on the ropes. Scores with the martial arts kick that time. Caught her target perfectly. A cover, no hook of the leg. Two. And only a two count. You've got to hook that leg when you're making that cover. And Sakura continuing to go to work. Look at the size difference. Look at how much height that Sakura is giving up. She, she's basically standing in Dixie's shadow. But as I said, Sakura Haruno fears no opponent. And she is really dishing it out on Dixie. And Sakura on the top. Oh, misses with the 450. Tried to channel Hooven to Guerrero, but it didn't work. And that could do it. Oh, but only a two count. Oh, my, Sakura Haruno would have just absolutely been ashamed of herself if a missed 450 splash would have been the deciding blow. And Sakura now fires herself back in with a sunset flip. This could do it. One. And Dixie's own momentum carried her right out of that pinning predicament. But Sakura heaves her once again into the corner. And a nice mucky flip. And I think right now Sakura's starting to get a little bit tired. Maybe punching herself out here. Oh, my. And it was that extra second of delay that caused a... Sakura to miss with that move. I think Sakura actually punched herself out, trying to dish out the punishment to Dixie. And Dixie is capitalizing on that. You just saw her hit a huge DDT. Oh, my, and a big drop kick to the exposed head of Sakura. And now Dixie really starting to feel good. Perhaps Dixie was implying the old Muhammad Ali rope-a-dope strategy. Let her opponent punch herself out and then take advantage. Sakura just seems to really, she seems to be wrestling in slow motion right now. Just a testament to the toughness and the dexterity of Dixie Clements. And now Dixie going to go to the top. She leaps and misses with the clothesline. Oh, my, Sakura 
got that leg up for that kick. That was purely self-defense. Look at Sakura. She is exhausted in there. Very few times have I ever seen a wrestler punch themselves out. I've seen boxers do it. But you don't see that very often with wrestlers. But just a testament to the toughness of the three-count cowgirl. And she's back on the top. And she scores with a leg drop. Dixie really feeling it right now. And she measures Sakura and scores with a spear. A Texas-sized spear. And Dixie now maybe signaling for the Dixie Cutter. Sakura not able to cover up. And she scores with the Dixie Cutter. And that'll do it. Dixie, hook of the leg, the cover. One, two, yes. And Dixie Clements scores a huge comeback victory over Sakura Haruno here tonight. And perhaps, ladies and gentlemen, maybe Tequila Sunrise is right back on track. Definitely a big statement made in singles action by the three count cowgirl Dixie Clements. And on Monday, ladies and gentlemen, well, if Tequila Sunrise's plan is to continue uh, getting back on track in singles competition, Maybe, ladies and gentlemen, this Monday, perhaps it will be Reiko Hinamoto's turn. Could Tequila Sunrise be on the comeback trail? We'll find out, but Dixie, a big winner here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, so our main event for this edition of Nitro is settled. And you take a look at the big four. Three-fourths of our semifinals have been decided. It will be Laura Croft squaring off against Yuna. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, Ray Hino will lock up th this Monday against the winner of this match, hitting Danica Patrick against former EWE Siren Champion X23. Our final quarterfinal match begins now. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is a return match from Rumble Roses. As you all remember, Danica and X-23 locked up in Rumble Roses in the opening contest of the quick review. And in an intense bout, X-23 was able to come out the winner. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, will she be able to do it again in, in a match that arguably matters even more? Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! X-23 wasting no time! Danica was making her entrance. X-23 was hiding under the ring. Has X-23 been there the entire episode? X-23 now beating the life out of Danica. Obviously still a lot of bad blood between these two. 
And obviously, Roma Roses didn't settle it all. And the bell rings, and uh, we are underway, and already Danica in a lot of trouble. X-23, not someone above, not wasting any time. And a cover, one, two, and we almost had a winner already. X-23 right now just completely, completely, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me, caught Danica off guard. Danica just leisurely making her way to the ring. You've got to keep your head on a swivel at all times. And Danica's learning that lesson right now. And X-23 with a power display. Oh, my. I don't think Danica's gotten in an offensive move yet. The cover, one, two. And two is all she can get again. Even after that surprise attack, X-23 still hasn't put Danica away yet. Oh, my, huge shoulder charge from the former EWE Siren champion. Missed with a drop kick. And now Danica trying to get back in this one. Oh, but a huge clothesline. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you just saw one of the most fascinating starts to a VWF match so far, ladies and gentlemen. There, that, was, that was something you definitely don't see every day. But like I said, these two women still have a lot of bad blood between one another. They are still far from being friends. Obviously, Rumble Roses did not completely settle this rivalry. Perhaps tonight, maybe we will. And X-23, oh my, nice athletic move there from X-23. And she is just pouring it on against Danica. X-23 looking to put her away early. Here we go. X-23 going for the peacekeeper. Got it. It's over. This one's over in record time. One, two. What? No. No, referee said it was two. I don't believe it. Even after that surprise attack, even after X-23 has beaten the life out of Danica, that peacekeeper didn't put her away. I am just stunned, ladies and gentlemen. But X-23 trying to stay on the offensive. Oh, my, but Danica comes right back. And now, perhaps it's Danica's turn to pour on the punishment. And ladies and gentlemen, this does not bode well for X-23 at all. Now not only is Danica angry, she is hurt and angry. Oh my, but she uh, made a mistake right there. And X-23 capitalizes with a neck breaker. Once again, going for a cover. One, two, and again only a two. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got to give Danica credit. You talk about somebody weathering the storm. But X-23 still staying on the offensive. And once again, Danica comes back. And a DDT. And now Danica still trying to get her bearings in there. Still trying to clear the cobwebs. Now dragging X-23. Setting her up for what? I don't know. And look at Danica. Already, look at how much has already been taken out of her. Danica is hurt. She is exhausted. But she is not going to let this opportunity to inflict some punishment on X-23 slip away. Oh, but look at that. Once again, she can't even try and use the ropes to attack X-23. And X-23 knows it. And she's up on the top. Leaps and misses with a leg drop. You have to imagine that absolutely would have done it. Danica trying to go for a quick cover, trying to steal it. Two. And only a two. And Danica now with an Irish whip. Not even able to do anything about it. Look at how much effort she's, this is how, this is how it hurts she already is. She's having to put her entire body into even something so simple as a chop, and it's just making her just, I mean, she's absolutely having to exert herself just for these, these, these small jabs and slaps. 
And you have to imagine it's only a matter of time until X-23 can put her away. But Danica has always found a way to survive inside that squared circle. And look at this. Come on, referee. Just choking the life out of X-23. But again, again, Danica just... I wonder if she's perhaps suffered some kind of uh, damage to her ribs. I, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. She may even have a concussion. And X-23... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm kind of surprised that X-23 can't find a way to put her away. But Danica's still try, doing everything she can to try and survive in there, taking every opportunity she can to just try and clear the cobwebs. See, even look now. She cannot capitalize on that illegal chop block. She cannot capitalize on any of these moves because she has to stop and take a breather. Oh my, and she just slung X-23 with all of her might into that steel post and follows it up with a DDT. Maybe Danica's starting to find her second win. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match goes on to the second round of the VWF Intergalactic Championship Tournament. This Monday, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout will face Ray Hino in the second round and take one step closer to, pre to becoming perhaps, ladies and gentlemen, the first ever VWF Intergalactic Champion. And a nice backbreaker from Danica. Perhaps Danica now showing no ill effects from that beatdown that X-23 gave her. Ah, tried to go for a spine buster, and X-23 countered it into a DDT. And X-23 now finally back on the offensive after about maybe a seven or eight minute onslaught. X-23, you got to wonder if she's starting to maybe doubt herself because she could not put Danica away even after jumping her during her entrance. This match was completely in X-23's favor, and now, oh my, Danica, referee never saw it. That turnbuckle is exposed. And ladies and gentlemen, I've seen a lot of wrestlers walk away with some severe concussions and sometimes even brain damage from hitting one of those exposed turnbuckles. X-23 has no idea of the hazard that's waiting her. Awaiting her, I should say. And X-23 now, helpless in the corner. Danica limping over. Irish whip. Danica nails the knee lift. Oh my, and X-23, I think, maybe saw that exposed turnbuckle at the last second and dove out of the way. Oh my, and she missed with that high-risk maneuver. This match hasn't gone on very long, ladies and gentlemen, but oh my. Oh, and X-23 hits that exposed turnbuckle at about 50 miles an hour. And that could be the deciding blow right there. I think X-23 is out. I think she's out. I think maybe her head bounced off the back of that exposed turnbuckle, that steel turnbuckle. And I don't know if X-23 even knows where she is right now. Both of these women could have suffered serious injuries. X-23, though, trying to fight back. You saw that torture rack. X-23 trying to come back in this one. One. Two. Oh, my. Two and a half, maybe. And these two women have just absolutely put each other through the ringer. This has been one of the most, I mean, one of the hardest hitting matches that I've seen in a long time, ladies and gentlemen. These two women absolutely loathe one another. Danica right now trying to figure out a way to put X-23 away. Suplex. And the former EWE Siren champion is in a lot of trouble right now. And Danica just teeing off with those elbows. Danica now. Spine buster. And 
And Danica looking to perhaps hit her patented final lap. And what's she going for? Yes, she's going for the final lap. She got it. And now she's picking her back up. And delivers it again. Picking her up for a third. Oh, finally hits the pit stop. And the cover. One, two. It's over. And after withstanding a devastating sneak attack to start this match, Danica finally emerges the winner. She finds a way to dig deep and put X-23 away. Danica will now move on to the second round where she'll face Ray Hino this coming Monday, ladies and gentlemen, on Nitro. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, I think we still have a lot left to settle between these two women. And there you see it, our semifinals will be Lara Croft and Yuna, and Ray Hino and Danica. And ladies and gentlemen, let's take you to the back. We're taking you to the back right now. And there you see Usagi, Sakino, and Ami Mizuno getting ready for action. And they'd better be ready because this is a tremendous main event to cap off this special weekend edition of Nitro. Hitting Ami and Usagi against the team of Lindsay and Tiffa Lockhart. The two cents she square off against the Al-Qaeda member and the former Al-Qaeda member. Oh my, and the fans tell you the story. Here comes Tippa. No longer one third of Al Qaeda. She is one half of Al Qaeda. Ever since Lindsay left the group. Finally got tired of being pushed around by Abdallah. And tonight, you just saw ladies and gentlemen in the back trying to forge a temporary truce. You talk about two women that hate one another. And ladies and gentlemen, in this main event tag team match, it could bode well for the Senshi. It'll be interesting to see, ladies and gentlemen, how Tiffa and Lindsay coexist in this one, considering that they absolutely hate one another. And these fans absolutely hate Tiffa. No love for Tiffa in this one. But ladies and gentlemen, I have a sneaking suspicion that maybe the crowd will uh, change their tune once her partner enters the arena. And indeed they do. These fans, 20,000 strong on their feet for the woman who was finally strong enough to leave Al-Qaeda for good at Rumble Roses. I am talking, of course, about Lindsay. Lindsay was always the black sheep of the group, seemingly always uh, taunted by Abdallah and Tifa, seemingly always the one pushed into uh, dangerous situations to maybe perhaps, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, act as a human shield for Abdallah and Tifa. And finally, the former NGW Women's Champion was sick and tired of it. Lindsay finally stood up for herself, leaving Al-Qaeda behind for good at Rumble Roses. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how uh, Tifa and Lindsay are going to coexist, 
but they're going to try and find a way. Of course, if you will remember last week, ladies and gentlemen, Tiff cost Lindsay a shot to advance in the Intergalactic Championship Tournament. And in turn, ladies and gentlemen, Lindsay turned around and cost Tiff the match against Usagi in the main event of this past Monday's Nitro. So a lot of bad blood between these two, and we'll see how long this temporary truce lasts. Boy, these two women absolutely hate one another. And like I said, that bodes extremely well for their opponents. And now these fans on their feet. This place going crazy. I can barely hear myself talk because here comes the living legend, Ami Mizuno. Of course, at Rumble Roses, she was the woman who drew number one outlasted 19 other women and was able to punch her golden ticket for Vixen Mania. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the road to Vixen Mania. Vixen Mania comes your way. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, kicking off the spring, ladies and gentlemen, and you absolutely do not want to miss it. Stay tuned, of course, ladies and gentlemen, for further details regarding Vixen Mania. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you'll never forget it. The crowning jewel. The granddaddy of them all. The showcase of the Immortals, if you will, ladies and gentlemen, for the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And this woman you see on your screen right now will go on to Vixen Mania to challenge for the Vixens Wrestling Federation title. Talk about intensity. Nothing but business in Ami's eyes. Ami's eyes tell you the story. She would love nothing more than to get a few uh, shots in on Tifa, perhaps to send a message to Abdallah bin Laden. And Ami looking Tifa and Lindsay right in the eyes, staring them down. Ami will not back down from anyone. And that is why she won the Rumble Roses Battle Royal. And now making her way down, the leader of the Senshi, the former Vixens Wrestling Federation Champion. I'm talking, of course, about Sailor Moon Usagi Sakino. Last week, of course, ladies and gentlemen, Usagi Sakino left behind the Queen Usagi moniker forever apologizing to the fans and ladies and gentlemen in a very touching moment she and Ami for the first time in years ladies and gentlemen were able to embrace in the ring and show that they are one they they are they are two ladies and gentlemen they are two hearts perhaps beating as one as Brett the Hitman Hart once famously said all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event on this special edition of Nitro, and here we go. Tifa starting off against Ami Mizuno. And Tifa with a European uppercut. These two women wasted no time. And Tifa now. Oh, huge German suplex on Ami Mizuno. And you have to wonder what is going through Abdallah bin Laden's mind as she watches this one, as I'm sure she is. I'm sure somewhere the Vixens Wrestling Federation champion is looking on. And right now she's seeing her protege being dismantled by Ami. These two women were once best friends. They made up TXA. They were dominant NGW Women's Tag Team Champions, but now they are enemies. And oh my, Ami absolutely getting the better of Tifa right now. And Usagi looking on. It'll be interesting to see after uh, years of being a cohesive unit, after years of being estranged from one another, it'll be interesting to see how Usagi and Ami pick up where they left off. Of course, these two used to be uh, very strong allies in the Senshi. But Ami, of course, went on to do her own thing and still continues to do so. And 
Of course, ladies and gentlemen, uh, she forged her legacy as the living legend while Usagi continued to lead the Senshi and uh, staked out a legacy of her own, if you will. Both women, former NGW Women's Champions, as well as uh, Tivolot. Well, ladies and gentlemen, all four of these women, former champions in NGW. So you talk about four accomplished competitors. And there you see, uh, so far, the temporary truce uh, still, uh, perhaps, ladies and gentlemen, still in effect because Lindsay absolutely just bailed Tiffa out. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, you saw before this match uh, was underway, Lindsay and Tiffa making it clear they had no love lost between one another, but that they were going to try and uh, bury the hatchet just for this match to try and perhaps put away Usagi and Ami. And these fans uh, so far finding it kind of hard to root against Lindsay. And there you see, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, still a big pop for Lindsay as she entered the ring. These fans just cannot find a way to hate the woman who finally left Al-Qaeda behind. Oh my, and a Mr. Perfect style neck breaker right there by Lindsay. Usagi back up though, and a huge slap. Oh my, and Usagi showing where her true uh, intention lies when she took out Tiffa. That just shows you, ladies and gentlemen, Lindsay is not Usagi and Ami's target in this match. Tiffa is the one with a big bullseye on her chest. She is the one that Usagi and Ami will try to use to send a message to Abdallah bin Laden. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, Usagi will get the first crack at Abdallah. She will go on to Judgment Day to exercise her rematch clause and to try and regain the Vixens Wrestling Federation title. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, you have to imagine the woman who walks out of Judgment Day with the VWF Championship perhaps will be the woman that goes on to defend that very same title against Ami at Vixen Mania. And Lindsay in there right now taking it to Usagi. Usagi off the ropes. Lindsay with a leapfrog. And into a nice hip toss there. And Lindsay not afraid to rub it in a little against uh, Usagi and Ami, even though there's no bad blood between them. Oh, my, and a thumb to the eye there for old time's sake from Lindsay. And, oh, my, that unorthodox style su suplex, ladies and gentlemen. And Lindsay really feeling it right now. Oh, my, but, uh, excuse me, Usagi snuck out the back door. Tiffa clears out Ami. And it is absolute mayhem in there right now. The official having a hard time maintaining order. And Lindsay, another suplex. Just absolutely pouring it on against the former women's, well, ladies and gentlemen, the former NGW women's champion and the former Vixens Wrestling Federation champion. Listen to these fans. It is absolutely deafening in here. These fans at a fever pitch, and Usagi finally makes the tag. Here comes Ami. Down goes Lindsay. Down, oh my. Missed him against Tiffa, and Tiffa made her pay. And Ami's momentum halted in a hurry. And now Lindsay trying to put Ami away. Oh, a blind tag there. A blind tag made, and Lindsay doesn't like it. Lindsay absolutely doesn't like it. But nevertheless, Tiffa in there right now, dishing it out against Ami. And that just goes to show you that the attention between Tiffa and Lindsay, well, folks, you can cut it with a knife. A lot of animosity between the two, but they're trying to form a cohesive unit here tonight in the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for tuning in to this special weekend edition of Nitro. And ladies and gentlemen, we encourage you to join us again this Monday night in our regular uh, time slot. Oh my, as Lindsay nearly got the pinfall on Ami. We encourage you to join us, ladies and gentlemen, the, the night before Valentine's Day 
this Monday the 13th, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, uh, we will have uh, one of our bouts in the second round of the Intergalactic Championship Tournament. And ladies and gentlemen, who knows what other surprises will uh, be in store for us this Monday night. Ladies and gentlemen, we encourage you as always to tune in. And of course, let me take this quick opportunity to say we are still the league that connects to you. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter. On Twitter, use the hashtag VWF Wrestling. That is VWF Wrestling. And Ami finally making the much needed tag to Usagi. Now Usagi, oh my, missed with that blow against Tiffa. And Tiffa makes her pay. And Tiffa now just stomping the life out of the former VWF champion. Tiffa now picking her up. Oh my, and a hard Irish whip. Tiffa back up. And huge German suplex. Do not let looks deceive you. Tiffa is deceptively powerful. A very strong competitor indeed. She can match strength for strength with the best of them. And Tiffa now. Oh my, trying to, she's gonna go for the meteor kick. And she's tinning up the band right now. Going for the meteor kick. Usagi doesn't see it coming. Oh, but Usagi ducked to the last second. And an arm drag takedown. How did Usagi see that meteor kick coming? How did she get out of the way? Unbelievable. And a big swinging neck breaker. And that is exactly what Usagi needed. And there's the tag. On the end now. Down goes Tiffa. Down goes Lindsay. Ami, Mercury Stunner. Got it. Mercury Stunner. But Tiffa's back up. I have never seen that before in my life. Final heaven. Final heaven. I don't believe it. Open Ollie back up. And Mercury Stunner. No, countered. And Tiva. Final heaven. She got it. Two final heavens. That'll do it. One, two. And Usagi makes the save. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, what an exchange. And another final heaven. A third one. Ami may not make it to Vixen Mania. And that'll do it. One, two, and it's over. Tiffa and Lindsay find a way to defeat Ami and Usagi here tonight in the main event of Nitro. Ladies and gentlemen, unbelievable exchange at the end. Tiffa bounces right back up from a Mercury Stunner, courtesy of Ami. Tiffa then goes on to hit three, count them, three final heavens on Ami and finds a way to put her away. And despite the fact that Lindsay and Tiffa absolutely hate one another. They find a way to form a temporary truce and come out the winners in the main event of this special edition of Nitro. I don't believe it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, yes, let's take you back to the ring. We're taking you back to the ring now, and, and it looks like the truce is over. Lindsay and Tiffa staring a hole in one another. Oh, no, and Tiffa with a cheap shot. And Lindsay can take it no longer. These two women duking it out. Lindsay and Tiffa going at it. Oh, it must have absolutely killed them to try and be partners here tonight. And they can take it no longer. These two duking it out. And these fans just stunned mostly at the ending of that last match. But now some of these fans started to root on Lindsay. And Lindsay, oh my. Tiva trying to do permanent damage on Lindsay, dropping those steel steps on her. And this one has turned into an all out brawl. Oh, we gotta get security out here. Oh my God. Oh my, DDT. 
on that concrete. Oh, no, a chair. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no, Tiva trying to make sure that Lindsay never sees action again. And Lindsay, oh, gives her a taste of her own medicine. Good for you, Lindsay. Stand up for yourself against Al-Qaeda. And these two women continuing to brawl. What an unbelievable week, ladies and gentlemen, of Vixen's Wrestling Federation action. Security trying to get down here to break this up. And ladies and gentlemen, oh my, what a week it has been. And these two women absolutely could not take it any longer. And they are tearing each other apart after they just picked up a huge victory against Usagi and Ami. Oh my. And down goes Tiva. Oh no. Oh no. I know what Lindsay has up her sleeve now. And she's going to try and get even with Tifa and send a huge message to Abdallah. And Tifa, lifeless on the table. Oh, no. Oh, no. She can't. No, there's no way. There's no way. She's on the top. There's no way. She waits and got her. Oh, my heavens. Oh, my. I'm speechless. Oh my God. And you talk about two women that hate one another. They're trying to kill each other. They are trying to kill each other. I swear, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think this will be over until one of these two women stops breathing. I think these two literally want to end one another's lives. Oh my. And Lindsay just sent a huge message. But, ladies and gentlemen, as we leave the VWF arena, both women still on their feet. We're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. God bless. Wow.